How do we guard chastity in current times? How is success defined in Islam? Who are the successful ones? And what is their reward? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون والذين هم عن اللغو معرضون والذين هم للزكاة فاعلون والذين هم لفروجهم حافظون إلا على أزواجهم أو ما ملكت أيمانهم فإنهم غير ملومين فَمَنِ ابْتَغَى وَرَاءَ ذَلِكَ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْعَادُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِأَمَانَاتِهِمْ وَعَهْدِهِمْ رَاعُونَ وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَوَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ أولئك هم الوارثون الذين يرثون الفردوس هم فيها خالدون صدق الله العظيم How is success defined in Islam? Allah says for whoever obeys Allah and his messenger and fears Allah and is mindful of him, then it is they who will truly triumph. In the first verse, Allah tells us that the believers are the successful ones. Successful indeed are the believers. What are the characteristics of believers? Allah says, those who humble themselves in prayer those who avoid idle talk, those who pay the obligatory charity, those who guard their chastity except with their wives, those who are true to their trusts and covenants. And what is their reward? Paradise as their own. They will be there forever. How do we guard our chastity in current times? Everything is a click away. Controlling our desires is not easy. There are things we may do privately that we would never do with our parents or spouse or siblings or children watching. When we realize that Allah is all-knowing and all-seeing, how can we think that we are alone and no one is watching? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept boundaries for males and females within which to live and interact. When these parameters are compromised, then it leads one to the territory of sin and vice, the trap of shaitan. Hence, every person must guard that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has deemed sacred. Protection of one's eyes, heart, mind, body and limbs should be in accordance with the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, and do not go near zina. Verily, it is a shameful and evil path. In this verse, we are cautioned from venturing anywhere near zina or anything that leads to it, since this shameful act does not come about in an instant. Rather, there is a gradual buildup of smaller actions that lead to the eventual sin and shameful act. So before one can even reach the prohibited act itself, the doors to the sin are closed by this beautiful verse in the Qur'an. May Allah allow us to become true believers. May we be people of sound prayer. May we guard our tongues. 
May we guard our chastity for the sake of Allah. May Allah allow us to embody the characteristics of successful believers. May peace, blessing, and Allah's mercy be upon you.